Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie from Stephanie Kind of Fitness and today we're going to talk all about side planks. If you missed our tutorial video on how to do a regular plank, I'm going to go ahead and stick a link to that in the description of this video because it'll really help you understand some of the alignment things that we're looking for in our planks. I really love side plank. It's one of the best exercises you can do to work that deep core strength and your obliques. Not to mention you're going to get a lot of really great shoulder work in with a side plank as well. So getting started with a side plank and I'm going to show you a couple different variations today. We're going to start with a forearm side plank. So we want to be sure that when we do a side plank, we're not letting our shoulders kind of collapse like this. So we'll come down onto the floor on our side and we're going to stack our shoulder right over the elbow. So if we collapsed into the shoulder, it would kind of look like this. You'd totally be letting go with those obliques. They wouldn't be working very much and it's going to put a lot of strain on your shoulder. So I want you to activate through the upper back and the shoulder and push down a little bit with that forearm so that we can lift up. Now I've got my knees bent here as I pull my belly in, in, in. So this is variation number one with the legs and that's to have your knees bent. So we want to think about pulling the abdominals and we're gonna stack the shoulders, rib cage and hips bent knee variation we're just going to push down and lift here so you've got those knees on the floor and if you prefer you can extend that top leg so almost imagine like you're leaning against a wall that's behind you so instead of flopping forward you're opening back belly drawing in so that's one variation with the side plank and whatever you want to do with this hand is fine you can reach it up place it on the hips. Some people like to kind of kickstand with their fingertips. Just make sure you're not rolling too far forward and pushing into the floor. Variation number two for your side plank. So once the bent knee variation starts to feel a little less challenging, we can begin to straighten our legs, but we're going to come to a staggered stance. So we'll take the top leg, bring it forward, bottom leg, is going to be behind. Same thing, we're going to activate through the upper back and the shoulder, pull the obliques in, imagine there's that wall behind you, and we're going to lift here. So that's your variation number two. Variation number three, once this once the staggered stance starts to feel a little less challenging, you can stack your feet and lift from here. So those are three leg options that you have with a side plank. In all of them, we want to be sure that we're drawing that deep core up and in, just like we did with plank, and we're lifting through the obliques, trying not to let those hips dip down. So some of us may not like being on the forearm. So if that's not comfortable for you, you can actually be propped on your hands. So you would come onto an all fours position and for that kneeling variation, we would extend one leg back and then reach up. So that's your kneeling variation of a um, side plank on your hand. Now notice in this position, my top hand, top shoulder, bottom shoulder and wrist are all in a nice straight line. So we want to kind of avoid being here. See how my hand is forward of my shoulder. We want to keep that stacked position as we're here in our side plank. So you can, of course, should you choose, straighten the legs with a wider stance in the feet and be staggered here. Again, we just want to make sure we're not dipping down too low. We're going to lift, 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 lift a little bit harder feet are going to be together we're going to stack and come into our side plank so that's an option if you feel like you don't want to be on your forearm or if you just want to change things up a little bit 
So those are your basic points for getting into a side plank and some variations on how you can progress that exercise as well. So I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me as well. I will see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.